Yo, what's up guys? It's the Actuals, and welcome back to another quick video. Uh, if you guys were in my last live stream, you know I was talking about this. This is the Insignia keypad, and I want to show you guys the importance and why this is actually a really cool thing. You might just think, oh, well, it's just a numpad. It's kind of useless. Well, uh, let me give you some reasons on why I think it's actually the opposite. So if I pull out some keyboards that I have... As you see here, this is the right here. This is the uh, Cooler Master Quickfire Rapid TKL, and it's a uh, Cherry MX Blues. And as you can see, I said TKL, which means 10 keyless. Now, what I want to show you guys is that this is actually a very useful little tool that I have. So um, let's see. Let me tell you why. So there, there are many formats of keyboards, but the main ones are 60%, as in here. Doesn't have the numpad, as you can see, it's very small. I'll turn on my light here, actually, so that I can show you everything in its glory. But um, if I show you this right here, as you can see, it's very small. It's just a big rectangle. No numpad and no FN keys. This one right here has the FN keys, escape button, and dedicated arrow keys but it does not have the numpad. So if I were to add this here, it would be a full size keyboard, which is uh, not what I want. So the reason, so as you can already see, this is kind of the utility of this, is that if you have a small form factor keyboard, uh, in order to cut down on some space, because you're kind of like competitive in a game or something, or you just prefer smaller keyboards in general, um, this thing is very useful, this numpad here, because um, you can also use it, uh, if you have a 60% that isn't macroable, like my uh, mine is though, so I use this as arrow keys, but if you don't have that, this can actually be used as one. If you click on this, and then use these two arrows right here, I uh, use uh, this one, this and this one, and then this one, you can actually use these as arrow keys. So if you can have your 60% here, and then have your keypad here, you can you know use these arrow keys. Uh, which I find very useful, uh, but I don't obviously use it because I can macro these. So uh, one thing I also wanted to talk about is that essentially you're like, okay, this is really cool and all, but yeah, you get a numpad, but what are some un other fa functionalities? There's no way you bought this just for the keypad, and that is true. <laughs> There's a very, f very, very, uh, let's say, um, there's a very, very, like, uh, what's it called? popular uh, thing out there for streamers and it's called the Elgato Stream Deck. You essentially plug it in and then you, you're able to switch scenes on the go by pressing a button and it's really cool but it's really overpriced. Some people can't afford something like that and that's where I think this really comes in as a really good option for, for streamers, uh, you know, people that just want dedicated arrow keys or someone that wants extra buttons for like their voice or something. This is very very useful. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a streamer, so I stream sometimes, and this is very useful. I will tell you guys all my keys right now. So this right here is for my game and my webcam. This right here is for my game, no webcam. This right here is for my entire face. So that's that's as cool as I'll show you guys right now. If I press one, there's obviously no game scene, so it'll just be black. But as you can see, it switches. And I can just keep on doing that. Okay. And the number two is uh, it's all the it's it's all black but this would be my game if I did have a game capture in okay and then this right here is uh, please wait opening another game uh, this is uh, these are these uh, things right here I'll go back to my face these two but uh, these two buttons are here so this is please wait these two buttons are here to switch my monitors so uh, I'll show you all right now this is monitor one this is monitor two uh, which is pretty sick, so I can switch between the scenes if I really want to. Now, uh, another thing, so I still have more key buttons. So, 7 for Discord is to deafen. 8 for Discord is to mute myself. 9 nine is for NVIDIA Shadow Play for clipping. So, uh, let's say I just hit a really nice clip. All I have to do is press this number 9, and then I'm good. And this is what's really cool about this, is that I still have more buttons to macro. Or uh, not macro. I have this, this, this. 
and I, or I don't have this, 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 and then these two, which is like five. And um, so you're like, okay, that's really cool and all. I really want this. How much is it? And this is the whopping price of, I think this is actually underpriced. Ten dollars for all of this. This functionality is really good. Uh, it's, it's really built well, actually. It's it's plastic, but I mean, like it'll it'll hold up. It has a rubber mat. It feels quality. You know what I mean? So yeah, you should you guys should definitely pick this up if you're a streamer or whatever. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can buy it. But uh, yeah, that's just uh, that's that. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.